It's just wild the first time you see it, and even the hundredth time you see it. I came right off of a stadium tour, so my stamina as far as live performance, it didn't really miss a beat. I do live singing every night, so it's really fun to hit your marks, do your choreography, sing live, and have all of this happen in this world where you're completely inhabiting another character. I remember we were all standing backstage, and we were just waiting for the cats to go on. And I remember the cats all saying to me, what are we doing here? <laughs> I remember saying, uh, well, just go out. And we just waited for the first cat to go out on stage. There was a cat caught in the, uh, the car headlights in the production. We were waiting for the audience to you know, collapse in laughter, so to which there was total silence. And then the first number happened, and Jellicle Songs for Jellicle Cats happened, and there was this extraordinary applause. Wow. And I remember just, you know, I could just clutching myself and thinking, this can't be true. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be true. They're actually buying it. I love the fact that Memory is the main song that everybody has loved from the musical, and that wasn't even originally in T.S. Eliot's Cats collection because he thought it was too sad. He's absolutely firing on all cylinders, and his musical brain is just extraordinary. When I first read the screenplay, and it's seen, the film is seen through Victoria's eyes. First thing I said was, we have to have a song for Victoria. It's vitally a part of the movie. There was an ambition and an aspiration to have an original song in the movie. Just very much this understanding of like, let's write the best song we can. I played it to you and I said, there's a new song. You said, I'll do the lyric. And you did it then and there, more or less. Andrew Lloyd Webber's music is so impactful because it's so unabashedly emotional. There's absolutely no artifice in front of it. The emotion is at the forefront of what you're hearing. And I think that's really the trick to what has made his music so timeless, is that it leads with emotion. I definitely knew of Cats when I was growing up because it was one of the things that had been done in musical theater. Everybody knows that iconic look in the 80s musical. The spandex and the makeup and all the aesthetics that went into it. And just how expressive the dance was, the music, and everybody knows McCavity. McCavity, McCavity, there's no one like McCavity. He's broken every human law. Breaks the law of gravity. His powers of levitation would make a fake stare. But when they reach the scene of crime, McCavity's not there. McCavity's a ginger cat. The song McCavity is very mischievous and very slinky and kind of feels a little bit like a cabaret number. It's really just a very fun song to sing and really fun to dance to. And when you think he's half asleep, he's always wide awake! It's probably my favorite song in the show. It feels very Fosse-esque to me, and it's very sexy. Taylor's amazing talent. She is willing to practice and work it out like a total pro. You see him in the square, but when a crime's discovered, then McCavity's not there. When a crime's discovered, McCavity. McCavity! Finally had the chance to work with Taylor as an actress as well as a singer and a dancer, you know, and Idris Elba, you know, again, I'm a huge fan. 
fan of and wanted to work with him for such a long time. The, you know, the chemistry between them on set was fantastic. It's such a fun environment because there are some of us here in the cast who are actors who have learned to dance and sing. There are some of us who are singers who have learned to act. There's some dancers who have learned to act and sing. You have so many people coming together, learning together, trying different things and improvising. We've got countless dancers that are a part of it, and it's fun. It feels like playing. Guys, just wanted to say it really quick. You guys are amazing. I'm having the best time with you. You're so incredible. Um, thank you so much. To be honest, you know, it's been amazing. It's all really collaborative, and Macavity is just an iconic song. It's big show piece and it's very special to see a McCavity come to life. <laughs> what? McCavity, McCavity, there's no one like McCavity. He's a fiend in human shape, a monster of depravity. You may meet him in a by street, you may see him in a square. Crimes discovered yes. the cavity. Crimes discovered then. Macavities not there. It's just kind of fun to think of a cat that really thinks that they're criminal masterminds. Everybody's known that cat. <laughs> that by night, they just wreak complete havoc. Taylor and Idris, the chemistry between them on set was fantastic. Macavity. In my head, I categorize the cast as either good cats or bad cats in this musical. And Bumble Arena is this right-hand man for Macavity. I just picked up on Taylor's extraordinary glamour. And I feel at that moment it had to be lifted out of kind of being actory and it had to go kind of not Vegas, but full showtime. My cavity, my cavity, there's no one like my cavity. There is a lot that goes on in terms of moving around in this number. You end up having a lot of different surfaces and locations and it's really dynamic and bold and fun. When the crime's discovered then Macavity's not there. Aha! With modern technology and visual arts, you can do some incredible things. And action. Capturing a human embodying an animal while retaining the emotive features of a human being. It's just really exciting to get to be a part of this. I was really excited and just kind of intrigued by the whole thing. And I kept thinking, like, I just want to work with Tom Hooper. Like, I want to get the opportunity to work with him and getting to be in a musical. I flew to Nashville to see Taylor, and she was like, what am I going to look like? I only had one clip to show her. And I just was like, this is not happening. Just all the aesthetics that went into it. We just kind of looked at each other like, okay. He told me I was gonna get to go to cat school every day for work. What? It's really exciting and fun to learn about the anatomy of a cat and how a human can inhabit that kind of spirit. And it's just so fun. Yeah! <laughs> And then...